Hey, 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 this is Soundmaster Matt, and welcome to a, another LP. Right now, it's just static. And it's not a good game. But I do have a game that I want to play, and it's going to be a one time episode, and it's probably going to be eh, maybe half hour to an hour long. Um, so it's a Genesis game, and it begins with an R. And. Let's see, what is it? Hmm. Ah, there it is. Risk. Um, actually, let me see if I can get rid of that. Ah, there we go. Alright, well, I have to use um, Camtasia Studio, so you may not get a lot of the, uh, the audio. Um,. I don't know how much bleed through you're going to get from my main speakers. Um, so we're just going to play Classic Risk. Now why is this game so... Oh, let me get back into the game. There we go. Um, well, this game uh, was released by Milton Bradley, or at least one, in, one version of it. And uh, Milton Bradley is based out of East Long Meadow, Massachusetts, which is right around the corner for me. So I'm going to be blue, and because I don't have a keyboard, I'm not going to bother with names, and we're going to play the intermediate um, computer. Let's see who goes first. All right, well, everybody but me, so I go last. Uh, going first or last? Actually, going last isn't bad. Well, no, in this case, it's horrible. Um, Shit. Um, I usually end up with the uh, same placements because the uh, the game has kind of um, their set of how they want to do things. So you can see we got purple down here that's apparently going for South America. We can't have that. We got green over here going for Australia. Can't have that one either. So I just want to keep an eye on purple over there. Make sure no one else moves. I really wish green would move his shit someplace else. Alright, where else is he placing now? He's starting in... Uh, Alright, we're going to make this 15. And we're going to start... We're going to feed the last of these down here. Um, so my plan is to get, to get Australia, then get South America, then see where, where to go from there. Um, now, in the board game, the attacker is given three dice. This is why you see yellow with three cannons. Um, and the attacker can have up to two dice. Now, it's also dictated by how many, uh, 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 armies you have on that tile. If you only have one army, then you can only use one die. If you only have two armies, you can only use two die. That's even if you're an attacker. Um, an attacker cannot use his final army to win a battle. So even though it says that he has six, he technically only has five. So, um, the other thing is you can only lose the the amount of the of the uh, the lowest die. So if one player has one 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 die, then that is the most armies you can lose in that turn. Um, and basically, you know, if you know there's one army to be lost, someone will lose that army. Um, if the attacker ties with the defender, the defender automatically wins. Um, and there's some other rules that we'll go through as we go. And fucking yellow is. Going absolutely ape shit on the world map here. I'm actually going to turn down the game just a little bit, which is going to cause it to freeze. And you probably saw some flickering and some other stuff, but I just got to turn it down because I can't think. Uh, I don't know if it's been too loud for you guys, but these first couple turns are going to be extremely long because you know you start with all these extra armies. Um, so, you know, it's going to take a while to get through these first couple turns. But once we really start digging into the game, we'll, uh, 
we'll actually get some meat and potatoes going. Um, it looks like yellow has a sizable chunk of Australia, which is a little concerning, but there is that 12 purple army up in the corner, so they're not going to get, they're not going to hold on to it too long. Um, Oh, they're going for purple. All right, they're completely ignoring me. Maybe they're going to take over yellow from that position. Good, good. And then I just want him to leave Australia. Take your armies and leave Australia. Leave me to my own devices. Come on, yellow. Let them win. Actually, either way, it doesn't matter to me. Um, so that... Yeah, the computer just screwed up right there. That that was a big no-no. You just gave me Australia. I got 15 armies in there. That's all I need to take over Australia. Now, if I could if I can swindle Australia and South America in the same turn, that would be a phenomenal turn of events and really launch me uh launch a real good start. I don't care about America. Um I'll come for it later, but right now it don't it don't it don't mean nothing to me. Um, you know those those were just filler spots. Now I have to say I haven't played this game in a long time, and then today I played it three times. Once was a was a test to make sure that the game actually played, um, and that I remembered my strategy. The second one was I screwed up the recording and lost it. So here's attempt number three. But I mean this game is is so good. I mean it's such a classic. And this one this version of of computer games really holds true to the to the original style, the original flow. There is an arcade mode where you get to, to try to shoot at the armies. Um but I don't really like I like this random, you know, the roll of the dice type type thing. So now it's Purple's turn. And, yeah, I mean, basically I don't think Purple can do anything that, that will threaten me, so have at it. Um, the other thing is, is that, and I've noticed this, um, is that on, on Intermediate, and I don't know if this, this is on, if they do it on Expert 2, but... I don't feel like I'm I'm fresh enough to 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 venture onto expert, but they never go for Australia or uh, South America. They may load up the armies, but their trip they're they're immediately going to Africa or Europe or America. Um, and I'll explain that in a little bit once I get my my uh, my army screen up, which should be soon. And, wow. We may have a slight problem. Oh, no, there's no way they could take it all over. Okay. So that's all right. Now, just stop right at the uh, the border. Don't... Oh, he's going the other direction. Okay, never mind. Carry on. Wow. So, it looks like purple really got set up nicely uh, for their turn. I mean, look at that. But, they have nine armies that are buried. Um, that's going to be very hard for for that to be brought out. Um, actually, they can move it to Ukraine, and that would probably do it good there. So, I'll cover things as I utilize them, but, um, you know, because the computer just moves too quickly. Um, so, we may not cover everything in the game. Um, you know, but, uh, like, fortifying. Fortifying doesn't usually come up. Oh, thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Just thin your ranks out even more in South America. I'm almost guaranteed to get South America now. Alright, so, for countries owned, and if I go to the map, 
uh, countries owned means how many countries you own divided by three. Um, and then whatever that answer is, and don't even worry about the remainder, the remainder doesn't count. Whatever that is, is how many armies you get. Now, the lowest amount of armies that you can get in a, in a turn is three. So as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five countries, which is, you know, one. Um, but uh, the lowest is three. Now, if we look at uh, purple here for a second, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So they're looking at getting five armies in their next turn. That isn't something I can actually do, uh, do anything about. Now, green is going to get their turn. Uh, yellow is going to get their turn. But I'm noticing that me and purple are the only ones that have actually any armies left. Um, so I get three armies because of, you know, the the amount that I have. So, and you see there for continents owned. Uh, for Africa, I believe you get three armies. No, Africa's five armies. Asia, seven armies. Australia is two. Europe is three. North America, I believe, is also three. And South America is two. So we're going to try to get South America and Africa, possibly in this turn. So we're just going to load those up. Uh, so we want South America and we want Australia. Australia is going to be the easy one. So let's just go straight for that one. So now we got the entire island. But you see that uh, that little uh, white line between uh, New Guinea, or, uh, oh, sorry, in Indonesia, and uh, I think that's, Cy not Siam, uh, whatever it is, but that white line just above Indonesia, that's the Australian line. So I got to get, in once I get Indonesia, then I own all of... Australia, and in my next turn, I will get an extra two armies, which means that I will be getting five armies my next turn instead of the three. So it's it's like I just took over six con uh, six countries. So yeah, uh, if I I could take uh, Siam's part of Asia, I don't want to thin myself out too much, not yet. All right, so the first we're gonna go for Peru. Very good. Next, we're going to go for Brazil. Damn. There we go. Perfect. Only lost one guy. All right, now we're going to go for Venezuela. And let's just take this over. All right, so we actually are going to talk about fortification in, in this one. Because um, I'm about to utilize it. So what I want to do is I want to move. I want to set up my troops to set up a little bit of a wall. Um, don't have many troops. And I'm actually going to stick my nose in South America. I mean in a, into Asia. Um, it's going to bring unwanted attention to me. But I have too many troops sitting there. I, I kind of have to do something with them. Now, the reason why Australia and uh, South America are so e useful to get at the beginning is because, well, Australia only has this one opening. And over here, South America only has Brazil and Venezuela uh, as their openings. So it's very easy to defend against, uh, whereas you look at you know, Africa, these three spots are all open. Um, America's Greenland, uh, Alaska, and Mexico is open, and um, basically almost every country, except for the middle three, are accessible, and then this whole line right here is accessible, plus back here and over there, so uh, Asia is really hard to hold on to and not really worth uh, going after. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fortify, and fortify allows you to move troops. It also ends your turn, so you can't do this in the middle of a turn. Um, and I'm just going to move all my troops to South uh, uh, Central America. Um, so let's see where. Uh, okay, they're going there. Um, they most likely will not attack South America. Like I said, the computer doesn't seem to really care. 
about South America or um, Australia. So those two are pr probably pretty safe. Um, the other thing is, is that if you take over a, a, any country, just you win a battle during your turn, then when you end your turn, ah, bastard. Yeah, we'll go with two. Um, ha ha. Yeah, I just whittled you down pretty bad. Yeah. And I win. Um, so I, I defended Central America. Um, if you win a battle, you get a card. Um, later on, those cards are going to become very important. Um, because they allow you to get extra armies. And it's smart to be the last one to use cards. Because each time you use a card, it ups the value of the next set. So the first set is worth 4. The next one is worth 10. Uh, I mean uh, 6, then 8, then 10. Uh, and it just keeps going up. I, I don't really know the count. I do know it starts going like 15, 20, something like that. Um, there's a lot of different ways to count them. Um, you know, depending on which games you're using and, you know, what rules are using. So, there's a lot of different ways to count it. Um, and the Mexicans might be dead. Uh, we might lose the Mexican Smurfs. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Apparently, Purple is afraid of the Mexican Smurfs. Um, okay, then. Um... Yes. Oh no. There, there goes the Mexican Smurfs. Yeah, we'll go for we'll go for a twofer. Yep. They didn't even make it around. That's okay. And they stopped dead. So you could see that for countries only, I still only get three. But because I own Australia and South America, I get another seven armies. Now, I'm gonna put two right there and two right there. Um. I really don't want to attack either one of those because they'll probably leave me down to one. But I need to take an I need to take a uh, at least a country. So I'm gonna take over China. And then I'm gonna take over India. And I'm just gonna slowly push out. And the reason why I'm taking these two is because I can. Um <laughs> You know, it, it it doesn't really set me up any improper. Um, so, yeah, I feel that that was a good turn. Not quite what I wanted to do. I was kind of hoping to be push uh, pushing into uh, into America that turn, but ah, eh, whatever. You you know, you, doesn't always work to your benefit. Um, but you saw that. Uh, yellow had, you know, a, a sizable force right outside my door, but they didn't even bother to go to a country that someone else owns. Mm. So, but I believe yellow owns all of Africa, so probably our next venture is going to be pushing into Africa. Uh, oh, no, I still own the bottom half of Africa, so never mind. I, I thought yellow was close to it. Oh shit. <sighs> yeah, let's let's go for two. Alright, we take down one. Damn. Fuck. There we go. Damn. Ah, I lost South America. Okay, um, fucking bastard. Alright. So go after Venezuela. You bitch. All you had to do was hit. There you go. Ah. Uh, okay, and let's. Flesh them out. Actually, there's, there's, let's, um, we're gonna put the, um, no, we'll put, we'll put the five on uh, Brazil. 
because I think I'm going to put all my armies into North America and push upwards, or put them all into Venezuela to push to North America. But I'm done. I, I don't. I, I already. I already won a um, a country. Ooh. So he, he his first three cards were usable. So he's got four extra armies. So now he's at seven. But that's only for a single turn. So I'm not too concerned about it. Plus he even though he loaded up North Africa where he could have came after me, he he's going for Europe. So have at it. And he's really trying to get that that northern hemisphere locked down. Now, what's green going to do? Green's got that seven out? Wow, they got seven out there. Okay. It's back in purple around a little bit, I see. That their plan. Oh, right. Purple! Oh, the bane of my existence. Alright, you know what? I'm going to go with... Uh... No, we're going to do two. Fuck it. Bastard. You son of a bitch! All right, let's let's. I'd rather not use cards if I don't. Yeah, shit. Um. I'm I'm basically gonna be fucking sitting in this battle until uh. <laughs> the world decides what to do with me. Um. Because this purple is just, like, sat out against me. Alright, well... I will do it that way this time. You know, we'll call that fucking quits. Hopefully I can make it through a, a, a single round without purple harassing me. Wow, you know, yellow, you just... <laughs> that was... Oh, come on. Really? Oh, go figure. Oh, I got one of them down. Yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, I can't believe my luck. Yeah, I've never seen them go after fucking South America. Oh, is this purple? Or Oh, it's green. Green's all up there. I, I don't have to worry about green, so... Fuck. I'm just trying to get a fucking foothold. They're not letting me get it. Though, two cards have already been used, which means I believe we're at 8 or 10. Um, so, I might be able to force my, my foothold now. Which would be nice. If I could force a foothold, it would be, it'd be really nice. And I don't want to go for Australia because then, I mean, uh, Asia, because everybody would come at me. It would just be, it would just be vicious. Well, as vicious as this primitive AI could be. Um, Alright, Purple, what are you going to do? Oh, fuck, Purple's got cards. 
Shit. Well, that makes my cards better. Uh, yeah, so the next set, this, if I can use the set, uh, it's going to be uh, 10, which means I will have 15 armies to use. That could set my South America up quite nice. If I have a, a, a working set, um, there's no guarantee that I do. Um, damn. Yeah, this is the hardest of the, the three rounds that I had. Um, usually by now I'm already like halfway through America. Um, and well protected and left alone. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's going on. They're just out to get me this time, apparently. Now you see the the flaw in their 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 battle strategy. Their battle strategy is if I have armies to use, use them, um, which usually lets me. Ooh, I actually get I actually get six because apparently I have uh, twelve or more countries, which is nice. So let's see if I have cards to use because I could. Yep, so I do, and I get extra for Venezuela. That's nice. A couple extra for Peru. That's also nice. I think I got Peru. Um, so yeah, now I'm at sixteen. So let's place. Oh no, it's just Venezuela. All right. Um. We're just going to load them all right here. Just fuck all. <laughs> just load them all in. Ugh. If you hear the squeaking, that's, that's, that's my chair. Okay, let's put half of them back. Uh, yeah, that'll work. All right, and I don't want to push into um, Africa um, because that that will definitely become uh, a prime target. Um, actually, you know what? Fuck that. Let, let's, you know, I've been pushed around. It's time I do some pushing myself. So there we go. We got a foothold in America, foothold in Africa, foothold in. Asia. Hey, we don't give a shit about Europe. Um, yeah, I don't want to push out too much. Now, next turn, I'm probably going to load up Central... Uh, Central... Uh, uh, um, hold on, let me make sure... Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So, uh, next turn, I'm probably going to load up uh, uh, Central America and uh, take over uh, the actual America, the United States of America. And uh, from there, um, just fortify and the next turn take over um, Canada. Um, if I have enough troops, I should have enough troops to take over Canada at that point. Um, and then try to leave about five, actually this about five people in uh, Greenland and Iceland each um, should serve enough uh, protection hopefully um, America's not one that I usually can hold at the beginning ooh okay yellow I need you to hold out just for a second um, hold on you got you got two left okay yes I get a free kill. Um, so let's see if I... Oh, I don't have enough cards to trade anyways. Okay. Alright, so I get nine. Five for countries, two for Australia, and two for, for South America, which is nice. But we just had a change of plans. Um, Actually, no, we didn't. Um, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to kill yellow. All 
um, because we get his cards. Um, when you kill someone, you get whatever cards that they have. Um, so, you know, they left a free opening for me. You know, yellow on my doorstep. Had to take it. Um, and then... I'm going to do this even though I don't think it's going to be fruitful or beneficial. or It's, it's actually a really stupid move. Um, but... I don't really care. Uh, I mean, it, I, I'm already done, so might as well um, do it. And then you know, I'll just move these guys to the Middle East. Um, just as a little bit of a protection um, towards Africa. I mean, you still got North Africa, which actually I'm going to move these guys um, here. And then, yeah, I'm going to move these guys to here. Uh, when my turn's done, but right now I'm taking over uh, the U.S. Hopefully. I mean, I got 19 guys versus two, so um, they could get a bunch of lucky shots, and oh my god, really? It's one fucking guy. Thank you! Good lord! Wow, one versus 18, and they fucking knocked out five of my guys. Yeah, that one didn't do so well. All right. So we're going to split these up. Um, yeah, we'll do it that way. All right, wow. It's uh, looking a little uh, blue in the world. All right, we're going to... Yeah, we. I'm, I'm sure I want to fortify. I want to move these guys to here. Um, just to put more, more protection. Oh man, he's already got fucking cards? Damn. That could, that could screw me up. Unless he goes completely after purple. Which, hopefully I can, I could steal another kill. If I could steal another kill, that would be freaking amazing, but it, it doesn't look possible. I mean, purple has no uh, no multiple armies anywhere. Um, unless, hold on, did I just see a screw up? No. Green should be able to pull this off. And then I'm gonna be the the then it's gonna be a one on one. Unless somehow fucking purple pulls one of these out of their asses. Um. Because there is a 4 to 1 in America. Um, and we all know one person can kill 5, so... Um, this will also be a 5 to 1. So... Mm. I mean, it doesn't look good for purple. Y either way, he's 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 dead at the, the end of one of these damn turns. Um, come on. Hold out, purple. Damn. So close. All right, one more attempt. Yeah, last last warning, purple. Come on, purple, hold out. Come on, Canada. Wow, first shot. Nope. Damn. Now, if green gets a, if green gets a second set of cards, he didn't. Okay, cool. Um, so I get seven for the countries I own, three for Africa. Two for Australia and two for South America. That gives me 14, but if I can turn in cards, I get another 15. Let's see, what do I got? Ooh, can I turn in two sets? If I can turn in two sets, he's he's more than Fubard. I don't remember if I can. I can. Ha 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 Yes, sir. So, I have 29 armies to play with. Um, I have 49 armies. Yeah, so I think we're just going to load these two up uh, nice and evenly. Uh, yeah. See, that's why taking over um, 
uh, yellow was so vital, and it would have been worse if I took over purple too, because he most likely has a set of cards that he can turn in. So we're going to first go to Ontario, then we're going to go to Quebec, then we're going to go Greenland, then we're going to go up the other coast to get uh, Australia. Now even though I should be able to just wipe right, run right through him, I'm not going to do this stupidly. I'm going to take over America, have my border secured, then I'm going to start working towards, you know, Europe and make sure my borders are secure and just keep working through. Uh, that way and making sure my borders are secure so if I have to stop you know he doesn't get a foothold if I you know I have to make sure that he can't get a foothold if I fuck up um, because I mean I have the game in the bag at this point um, you know he got dead set on going after purple he did not try to deter my um, my Africa which was a you know, a big problem, and you saw that at the beginning, you know, was it five for Africa, or three for Africa, whatever it was, it was not, it was, it, it was not pretty, um, I had a sizable force without being able to turn in two sets of cards, but being able to turn in two sets of cards really, really turned the table, um, and that's, that's one thing with the cards, is, uh, I've seen games, you know, it, real games, you know, not, not these types of games, but I've seen real games, and the real version of this game, when you're playing with, you know, friends and family, you're talking, you know, an all-day affair, um, kind of like Monopoly, except that the board doesn't get flipped, um, because usually you can trace, you know, where you screwed up, um, quite easily, um, so... Now, the problem with Asia is that there's no way to, um... move your troops around in such a way that it's, uh, wow. Okay. Not quite what I was planning on doing. Kind of what I wanted purple to do, but they didn't. Um, there's no way to really move your troops around in order to, um, yeah, let's leave, leave that five alone for now. Um, let's move this 20... Actually, yeah, I need to close off the borders because I need to I need to minimize uh, border contact um, because he's probably going to get a set of cards um, because of the fact that he got red or purple. Um, so I need to minimize the amount of borders that he has and the amount of uh, troops that he can get. Um, if I can get him under 9, which he's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I gotta get, I gotta at least take two more from him. Um, I'm planning on taking a lot more than that, but I need to get at least two more from him. Um, let's go with South, Southern Europe. Ow, oh, balls. Yeah, well, at least that's one of them. There we go. Um, actually, I don't know if I could pull this off in in this turn. Um, the problem was is I, I mean usually when I when I do one of those you know dual car car card pulls, um, I don't have as many countries. Um, the world was pretty evenly split between the two of us. So um, if I could lock down. Um, lock them out of um, Europe and uh, Africa, then I will be pretty well set. Alright, so I got 12 there. I don't want to go much thinner than that because um, he most likely is going to get uh, a set of cards. Um, And let's um, let's go this way. So now I'm just trying to figure out the best way to 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 
squeeze him, um, I might be able to pull it off. I really don't want to risk leaving one country with a set of cards and then having one country with like, you know, 20 dudes. Actually, I got 25 right here. What the hell am I thinking? I didn't even realize this, this, this was 25. This should be more than enough, even if he gets a few lucky shots on me, like that one. Um, should be more than enough to get him out. Um, I mean, th this 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 game is a lot of luck, but a lot of strategy at the same time. And if you can, if you get lucky to have both of those in play, like the strategy allows you to live long enough for the luck to turn in your favor. And you saw that at the beginning. At the beginning, I really thought I was going to lose um, because I had someone loading up um, South America and Australia. And those were my two strategy points. If I don't have one of them, I'm kind of up Shit's Creek without a paddle. Um, uh, so I could still move those guys in. Um, so yeah, at this point, I'm definitely seeing that he's foobard because he's got 16 on one side and 17 on the other side, or 12 on the other side. So yeah, there's there's nothing he can do. Um, this is this is done. World do world dom domination. It has been smurfified. Uh, we'll take the lower one. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just go through all these uh, these armed forces two on one. I gave you a fair battle. All right, all right. How about a five on one? Can you handle that one? No, no, you cannot. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was risk. Uh, yeah, seven turns. Actually, this game was shorter than my last one. Uh, my last one was uh, eight turns, uh, but you know, like I, I thought at the beginning I was going to lose it when I saw that people were loading up for Australia and South America. Um, then uh, what was it? Yellow launched themselves out of out of Australia and took all their troops with them or whoever it was. That opened up the door for me. That was that was Lady Luck shining down on me. And then Purple just constantly try you know, sending the Mexicans down to South America. They're supposed to go north. You know that, right? Um this purple kept pounding my South America. I couldn't do anything but keep taking it over and keep trying to buff it up and then Green came in and, you know, bumped me and it just you know, it was all me taking over yellow. Me taking over yellow gave me the extra cards in order to uh, secure that victory. If I did not get yellow, I may not have secured victory because um, that would have meant either purple or green got it. And then they would have had those cards and then green would have gotten both sets. Um, so green would have had a mid-term boost. If you ha if you end up taking over someone, and your cards exceed the maximum amount, which I believe is five or six, you have to place play cards. So that means you get a, a a brand new infusion of fresh troops. It may only be like the 15 or whatever that you get from the troops, but still you get this fresh insurgence of troops to rethink your strategy because you know, like he focused all his power onto um, purple and didn't put any troops in the way of attacking me but if he got both those sets and then he you know and then he would have been able to place troops and come directly after me and I probably would have lost Africa and South America in one fell swoop and possibly even Australia I could have been left down to nothing and lost the fight so you know me me being able to score uh, the win on uh, yellow uh, was what really secured the whole game for me. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little LP. Um, I got I got other plans. I got other things that I'm thinking of doing. But uh, yeah, that that my friends was Risk on the uh, Sega Genesis. So uh, until next time, this has been Soundmaster Matt and uh, oh, it was Parker Parker Brothers that did Risk. Eh, whatever. They probably ended up getting bought out by, you know, Milton Bradley or Hasbro or Mattel at some point. So, eh. I do know that I had I had a Milton Bradley version of Risk. So, yeah, And the game just kind of glitched out a little bit there. So, until next time, this has been Soundmaster Matt. Hope you enjoyed.